Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. We're gonna start though with John Jewett, who just won Atlanta Pro, which was only 212 bodybuilding show. There was no open division, but this year we gonna see John Jewett in the open class as he gonna have his open debut this year at Legion. So in this post, he said a couple of interesting things. First of all, this is a video. I'm going to show you the video of what he looks like right now at 225. So not 212, 225. But before I show it to you, let me show you once again his photos from the stage. And in one of my previous videos, I said that he didn't really nail the look. Like one of his updates, like the day of the show didn't really look as good as the previous updates during that week. In the end, on that stage, he did look pretty good, he did win this show, but still there were some things that I didn't really like, that didn't really show his physique to the fullest. Like, he lost some fullness, especially in the legs. But like, overall, in his entire physique, he did look phenomenal. But he could have looked better, he looked better during this prep, he looked better than on the show day. And I totally forgot when I made that video about him not really peaking perfectly, I totally forgot that this guy is actually struggling to make the weight, to make the 212 weight. He's actually a really big bodybuilder that is really pulling hard to make the weight, so that's why, obviously, that's why he didn't look his best. He still crushed this show, it was an easy show for him, there were no other big name bodybuilders in 212, uh, he was, I think, I think he was third at the Mr. Olympia at one point, so he's like the highest caliber of the 212 bodybuilders, this show was easy for him, and he looked good, don't get me wrong guys, he looked good, but he could have looked better, and he admits that. So in this post where he announced his open debut, he did say that pulling down to 212 did hurt his look, and that also open shows are gonna get him more attention than 212 shows. And Legion Sports Fest is actually four weeks out of the Mr. Olympia, which is good timing for him because he would do a deload and diet break regardless whether he was competing or not. And at that point, he's gonna be still pretty big, pretty full. So at four weeks out of Mr. Olympia, he's gonna do an open show, Legion Sports Fest, the show that Sean Clarita did, I think, two years ago and won, you know, against Sergio Oliva and Regan Grimes. And now John Jewett is doing the same show. What will he do? Can he win the show? I don't know. It depends on who else shows up. But I think this guy is really good. I think he has a lot of muscle. He can come in super grainy, super conditioned. And it really depends on who else shows up, mainly. Like, if, if the competition isn't too bad, he can get away with a victory here. And also, I want to see him at 225 or even more than that. I want to see him completely full. I want to see his legs big and full and round. And just I want to see overall fullness and hardness that he's going to be able to bring in the open that he can't bring in 212. I think his body is going to look the best in the open. But if he can make it 212, he should definitely do it because he's more competitive over there. Uh, in the Mr. Olympia open division, he would not make the top 10. But he can be top 3 in the 212. Yeah, I think so. What do you guys think? Now, if you guys are trying to switch categories or simply trying to get bigger, there is a delicious way of doing that, and that is Vintage Brown Protein Powder by the Old School Labs. It's probably the tastiest protein powder that I ever tried, honestly. As far as the flavors, which one I would recommend to you, I mean, chocolate, real chocolate is definitely the one you can't miss with. But personally, I really like the birthday cake, the new flavor. Also, mint chocolate is amazing. It's like kind of refreshing, but it's still a chocolate flavor. All the other flavors are really good, but these three, especially birthday cake and mint chocolate, are my favorite right now. So if you guys want to support me and this channel, you want me to keep making this awesome content for you guys, you can do that by buying, trying any of the old school app supplements, for example, Vintage Brawn, and just using the code E1, which will also give you 15% discount. So thank you guys so much. Well, since I already mentioned Regan Grimes, let me show you what he looks like right now, and in case you didn't know, he's actually six freaking weeks out. Personally, I had no idea. I did hear Milo Sarchev say in a podcast that he is going to be competing soon. But how soon? He didn't specify anything. And now you can see in the comment section, Jay Cutler says six weeks. 
So Reagan Grimes is six weeks out. Which show is gonna be in six weeks? Well, since now is 27th of July, in six weeks is gonna be somewhere around September 15th. And on September 17th, we got Alicante, Spain or Europa Pro, which is the show that Good Vito is gonna be doing. So we're gonna see a clash of Good Vito and Regan Grimes. That's gonna be very, very interesting. So Regan Grimes versus Good Vito. Who do you guys think is gonna win this battle if we see this? I believe it's pretty true. I, I don't think Jay Cutler would comment this if he wasn't sure. It's probably Milo Sharcher probably told him. And there is only one show in six weeks. There is one show a week before that in five weeks in Italy. And like two weeks later, there is one in France. Uh, that's actually Cheru Classic France. But like on 15, actually 17 September, there is only Europa Pro. And we all know uh, Good Vito is doing that one. So yeah, I think it's pretty sure that Regan Grime is going to be doing that show. And he's going to be co uh, colliding against freaking Good Vito. And that's going to make a really interesting show. Now, here in the caption of this post, it's actually also a video, I'm going to show you a video in a moment, but in the caption here, Regan Grimes says, same but different, 2023. What does that mean, same but different? Is he the same or is he different? I think he probably weighs the same, I don't think he really got any bigger, but maybe he improved on the quality of the muscle, maybe he is going to look more matured, more grainy, more conditioned, we'll see. But like here, I mean, he looks good. Does he look good Vito? Good? I don't know about that, but he looks good. Let's check out the video. So yeah, the front double bicep in a tank top, unfortunately, but yeah. What do you guys think? I mean, the V taper looks good. Like the lats are looking really big and wide. The arms are looking pretty thick, like shoulders, actually chest and shoulders as well. But as far as conditioning, I mean, for six weeks out, for Regan Grimes standards, it looks good, like he looks grainy, he does look kinda grainy actually, so yeah, this could be good, I mean, it's uh, it's a low-key prep, he really hasn't been promoting himself too much, we don't really know much about this prep, but here, his arms are looking good, like he looks big, he looks really big and like pretty matured, pretty grainy, so yeah, I believe he's gonna look better than the last time, it's been a while, he had a pretty good off-season, pretty long off-season, uh, with the guidance of Milo Sarcher, so I am expecting progress, I'm expecting gains, I'm expecting him to look better, uh, better to the point where he's gonna be, be good Vito, I mean, I don't know, like, Green Grimes is a seasoned wet at this point, and, and, and good Vito is like the new guy, the new kid on the block, so, yeah, who's gonna be? Mm, I don't know, I would bet on good Vito personally, but whatever you guys think, tell me down below. And we also got a little physique update of our current, our reigning Mr. Olympia champion, Mr. Olympia, Hari Tsupan. And yes, in case you guys forgot, this guy is your reigning Mr. Olympia. I know it's kind of hard to believe because like, where is he? Nobody hears anything from him, nobody sees him, but it is what it is, that's how Hari is. And maybe he's doing a great job over there in Iran, I don't know, but like over here, I mean on social media or in the United States, nothing is really happening, we don't see much of him, we don't hear much from him, but it is what it is, this is him right now, and he says, uh, let's play a game, and he posts this video, it's also a video, I'm gonna show it to you in a second, and he says, a month ago, so this was his shape, his conditioning, one month ago, so one entire month ago, and that would be around 20, 20 something weeks out of Mr. Olympia, so for somebody who's going to be competing in 20-something weeks, his conditioning is phenomenal. So that tells us two things. First of all, Hari's probably going to be in really good shape. So he's not going to miss his peak. He's going to be shredded. But then the other thing that it tells us is that he probably maintained really good conditioning throughout the entire year. Which kind of probably means that he's not gonna be any better than he was this past couple of years. I mean, let's be honest, he really hasn't progressed at all since 2019. He came in more conditioned sometimes, sometimes he was fuller, like last year, for example. But overall, it's, it's pretty much similar physique, he doesn't change too much. Not that he needs to, I mean, he won the Olympia with pretty much the same shape, with a little bit more fullness, just maybe overall better peak. He nailed what they were asking for, and he was better than everybody else, and he won the Olympia. 
So I don't think he's going to try and change too much. And then you have the guys like Derek Lansford, Samson Dauda, Nick Walker, who are knocking, barking at the door and who are progressing at a fast, fast rate. And Hadi, if he's lucky, he's going to stay the same. You guys saw what happened to Big Ramy. Hadi is not that old. He's like 36, 37 tops. And Big Ramy is similar age. I think he's maybe like two years old or something like that. So these guys aren't that old, but like everybody ages differently. And some of these guys start bodybuilding earlier. Some of them started later. And that doesn't really mean much because Big Ramy started at very, very late. And you saw what happened to his physique. So the same thing can happen to Hadi because he has been looking this way for a long, long time. And he won the Olympia with the same look that he had in 2019. So if he can maintain this look, he's good. But now that he has the other guys, you know, that are trying to improve really hard, maybe the best idea would be to progress, actually. But I don't think he's going to progress. I don't think he made any progress. But I do think he's going to look good and fresh. And he's definitely going to give the other guys a run for their money. Anyways, guys, tell me what do you think in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And once again, if you want to support me and this channel, you can do that by buying some of the old school lab supplements and using the code DIVAN. Thank you guys so much. All the best and bye-bye.